today's the day of the Christmas party. My hair's looking a little crazy because I let it air dry. And with tape and extensions, they get kind of wonky. So I do have to do something with the hair. But today is our annual Christmas party. If you watched yesterday's vlog, I talked a little bit about that. I self-tanned in that vlog. I do have to still wash it off and I did my nails. Before we get into conversation, coffee time. <laughs> spa situation going on but got the eye patches on and i'm gonna do my lashes i'm gonna try these eyelash i've already reviewed these before in a video but these are the ones that i'm gonna wear today for the christmas party i also did my nails in yesterday's vlogmas if you guys want to check them out i love how those came out these are gel stickers and then i just did a matte gel top coat on top to mattify them love them so i love how that came out but these are the lashes i'm going to be using they're nice and fluffy and i'm going to be using the salamine lash glue Right here, got it off of Amazon. Has pretty decent hold. I have been liking it with the lash link slash applicator. I'll link everything down below. And today I will be applying glue to the base of my lashes. Usually I started just applying glue just to the lash segments, but I want them to hold because these are volume lashes. So I want them to like not budge. So I'm gonna be applying glue directly onto my natural lashes. I have a lot of time. I have about an hour. I spent the entire morning FaceTiming my sister and then uh, I was editing the video and that took a long time yesterday's vlogmas. So I really gotta rush, rush, rush because the party's in like an hour and I don't even have my lashes done. Or my hair. So let's apply some glue. I have been using a lash serum so some of my lashes actually are pretty long. Lash serums don't really help with thickness in my opinion. But they will help with length. And Grandy Lashes, what I have been using for the past several months, it does help lengthen the lashes. My sister uses Latisse and absolutely loves it. She says she gets the best results with Latisse, but I believe it's prescription only. And I used Grandy Lash and I really like it. And around the holidays, Black Friday and stuff, they do have sales. These are the lashes. I love how voluminous they are. I just wish they had more of a decurl. They're kind of too straight for my liking, but they are a pretty lash. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair now. It's up in a bun, but I think I'm just gonna crimp it with a waver. I changed into, I think I'm gonna wear this. I got these from Old Navy a while back. They're like ribbed, um, I don't even know what they are. They have leggings, pants, but they're not exactly leggings or pants. And this fuzzy sweater that I've had for a while from Shein, but this is the crimper. It's a hair waver of sorts and it has three different settings. So you can have a really deep wave, medium. I'm gonna use the small one and then I'm gonna clip my hair back. I just want my hair to be like semi curly. Super easy to use, I use this on my kids. I like this one because it has three different settings in case you know you ever want like a deeper type wave. All right, this is the hair after. I just like how my hair looks when it's crimped. It definitely will look better if you have longer hair, but I will usually put it up in a ponytail and I just look like the look of like, you know, waves throughout the hair when it's in a ponytail. So that's why I do that. Makeup, I'm going to keep her pretty simple. I have this Anika. I say Anika. Oh my gosh. Did I just literally do that? Put it over my eye patches. <laughs> so it's been probably 15 minutes so I can take them off. I usually let them dry like completely completely but the skin feels super nice and moisturized and i have a lot of a lot of fine lines around here so i'm hoping it helps with that and i do have dryness under the eyes so those are my main concerns and they had a really good review so i figured let me give them a try they're part of a gift set you can gift it to someone if somebody really loves eye patches i feel like that would be a great gift because they're premium beauty type eye patches not just like although i i use the cheaper ones and i feel like those work pretty good as well but i'm gonna just put some concealer they have pretty translucent skin, very thin skin, especially on the eyelids. So in the inner corners, I'm going to do that. Drag it down the nose a little, and then a little bit on the bridge of the nose. And I'm going to use the Giorgio Arvani Luminous Silk Foundation. I love this one, and I love the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid one. I did a review on it, comparing both of them. I think they're both amazing. So depending on your price point, you can get one or the other. They're very similar. And I have the Giorgio Armani one in the color, in the shade 6. And it's like a nice olive, 
light medium olive color. I'm gonna keep my makeup very simple, that, and then I am gonna set my face because I feel like if you set your face, it gets rid of any texture you might have. Like on the forehead, I have quite a bit of texture, especially right now. So setting it and mattifying it really helps eliminate the appearance of them. Oh no, I have like nothing left in this Lawless bronzer and it's like crumbling, but it is my favorite bronzer ever. I've had it for forever. I just love the shade, so I'll do a little bit on my nose, the tip of my nose, and then a little bit right here. I like to pat this bronzer in because I find if I go like this, it can look a little bit splotchy. And I've tried different brushes and stuff, and this is the best technique to make it look nice and even, and it's just such a beautiful bronzer, I'm telling you. If you haven't tried it, highly recommend it. A little bit of highlighter, just like a basic one that I have from CoverGirl. I'm gonna use some on the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose again, just a little bit on the tip right here. To kind of create the illusion of a lifted tip and then right here, a straight line. Some on the cheeks and that's that. So, oh, and then also in the inner corner, I can't forget that. I'm gonna do the brows last, so I'll probably do those off camera because they, I need to kind of concentrate, but I use the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen in the color Ash Brown, love it. I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna try something bold today. We're gonna go with the plum color from NYX. No, this is Cabaret. And then I've had this liquid catsuit liquid lip from Wet n Wild for forever. And this one's in the color Missy and Fierce. This one's like really red, really red. Did my makeup, just gonna do my brows off camera. I have to get the, maybe I'll leave my hair like this. I actually don't mind it. Looks a little bit, I don't know, we'll see. I ended up putting the hair up, but I'm gonna make a big old board real quick. My friends came over on Thursday after choir and Tanya brought cannoli, like cannoli crackers with cannoli thing. And it was in this tray, so I'm just gonna reuse it. Tanya, if you're watching this, thank you. And it has a cover, so it's gonna make it so much easier. But I got mini bagels at a local grocery store, some different types of cream cheeses. These I'm gonna leave out on the side. Some avocados, smoked salmon, and a cucumber and then I got found the macarons I might include them in there probably won't include them in there but just put them on the side and take them with me but let's try to assemble this ASAP Peasy lemon squeezy brunch board, and then I'm gonna take these macarons as well. So, see you guys at the party. I'll try to include some snippets of the party, but we'll see. Finally home. Gonna put the kids to bed soon. Haven't even put them to bed yet, but. I'm gonna do it soon. I'm just letting them play with their new toys since they had Secret Santa. They're super excited to play with their toys, but I had a few things come in from Amazon. The party is always a success. It's just I don't like filming. Like there's kids involved. There's, you know, I'll try to, I might include snippets that you might have already saw, but for the most part, you know, it's not my family, so I don't have the rights to just pull other people's kids and stuff like that on the YouTube for the world to see. But anyway, so that's that. But I did have a few things come in from Amazon. I mentioned in a previous vlog that I returned to my PMD 24 karat gold plated cleanser and I love the warming side so much. So I'm gonna give this one a try. This one has the Jade Stone. They have one of the 24 karat gold which started peeling and like discoloring. I'm wondering if it's because of the serums that I use. I'm not sure, but for something that is that expensive, I feel like that's just not okay, so I returned it while it was still returnable, and I'm gonna give this one a try. This is the one with the jade gemstone. They have a pink one with the quartz, but I otherwise, other than the discoloration, I absolutely love this cleanser so much, and I will continue to recommend it because I feel like it really helps with the absorption of products. Let me just try to open this, hold on. Okay, and I have to ask, I started noticing this, after I started doing my nails, and I'm not sure what it is. I used to think that it was a primer, but I didn't use that same primer. I used one from Moitier. I didn't use the one that I usually use, and I'm still having the same issue. So I'm wondering, is it the primer, or is it the gel base coat that I'm using 
that is making my fingers itchy. Like, does anybody else ever get really itchy cuticles when they do their nails? I don't think it's the base coat because I've had times where I've used this base coat without any primer and I didn't have issues. So I'm thinking maybe something in these primers, nail primers, is making my fingers like cuticles. They get swollen and they'll just get super itchy and it'll last at least a week or two. And it's just so frustrating. I thought I would ask because I feel like someone has is bound to have come across. This is beautiful. I love the white. It doesn't match the PMD at Home Record Dermabrasion Elite Pro that I have here. But this one is also beautiful. This is the Sage Stone here. So there's nothing like coming home, being able to change in my opinion, and take off your makeup. It works the same way. It has this cleanser side with the vibrations. And then it has the warming side for the sage stone, which was my absolutely favorite part. And this one is a little bit cheaper if you can get it on sale. I know Black Friday deals are over, but hopefully um, I'll just keep an eye out. If you do want to buy it, they do go on sale. So just wait a month or two, whatever. Wait for them to go on sale. So I'm going to let that warm up so that I can... Let me turn that off. I'm actually going to clean up, take off my makeup. And then I also got... I'm not going to use it right now. I just kind of quickly wanted to talk about it. And then I also got these Zenwise No Blow Capsules. I'm going to give these a try because I deal with major... I don't know what food it is, but I deal with major digestive issues. It's definitely a food thing for me. I just haven't figured out. I haven't really done the elimination diet. But you got to like really be consistent to figure out what it is. But meanwhile, I heard great things, or at least saw a bunch of great reviews on this, and it also works as a probiotic. So I'm going to give these a try because I've tried digestive enzymes, just exclusively digestive enzymes, and they made my stomach hurt really bad. So I gave up on those, and I'm going to try these. They have these veggie capsules here. Almost looks, smells like turmeric a little bit. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Short but sweet. I know it wasn't too long. Just kind of like hanging out with me every single day for Vlogmas. My husband's just been really busy, so I haven't been including him. Hopefully we can do some really fun Christmassy things. I want to take the kids ice skating. Hopefully that works out and other things once he frees up a little bit. So hopefully we'll get, these vlogs will get a little bit more interesting. But for now, it's just me. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow.